How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to be creating a simple web page. We're going to be using HTML which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. We are also going to be using CSS which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Think of HTML as a skeleton and CSS as dressing up the skeleton. With HTML, we create structure to our web page, and CSS makes it look pretty, makes the web page look pretty. So before we begin, you're going to need a text editor. So if you have a Windows computer, you can use Notepad, which I do not recommend. I prefer you using Notepad++ which is a free download if you have a Windows computer and it color codes everything and makes things a lot easier. If you have a Mac computer uh, you can use Text Edit which is the program that comes along with Mac but the, you know, once again things are not color coded things may not may be a little bit more difficult uh, to do if you if uh, if you use text edit so I recommend if you have a Mac I recommend you downloading a program called Atom uh, if you have Windows you can also download Atom so you have choice you have a choice as to which program you want to download uh, there's other text editor programs you would do a Google search and research those on your own uh, for the purposes of this video I will be using Notepad++ and here as you can see we have a sample web page we're gonna create something like this something similar to this so let's get to it I will open up uh, Notepad++ and I will start off <coughs> by typing this tag so whenever you see these brackets well we call them brackets and you see a open bracket and a closed bracket we call this a tag an HTML tag now this one is an open HTML tag and I forgot the backslash and that will be our closed HTML tag so there are certain tags that a lot, most websites will have another important tag is the title tag and here you want to type your name I'll put my name here and we're gonna create a web page on our hobbies okay next tag will be the head tag and for now, we'll do this. All right, we're going to create a body tag. Notice so, so far, all our tags um, have open and close tags. Okay. Now I'm going to save it. Make sure you save your file to the desktop or a location that you're familiar with. I'm going to save it and now I'm going to double click my file and I prefer you use Google Chrome as your browser. So your, your HTML file you will be able to do two things with it. You will be able to open it so you can modify the code and you're also going to be able to open it so you can view the actual web page so uh, in order to view the web page you will be using a browser and a browser is used for pretty much for viewing a web page and there's different kinds of browsers there's Google Chrome uh, I prefer you use Google Chrome for if you're using a Windows machine uh, and uh, if you're using Mac well you have Safari to view your web page so under the title all I did was type some text with my name and the word hobbies 
and everything else is just kind of creating structure um, for my web page. So now I'm going to double click on my web page and notice I have nothing here and really all I have is the title as you can see where the tab is at that is going to be the title of my web page. Now let's go back to the code. Okay, under the body we're going to have many more tags here and I usually like to give a three space indentation so we'll create a header tag and we will close the header tag let's create a div tag and let's close that div tag and pretty much a div tag is um, it's a tag or code used for creating a container uh, you're pretty much dividing HTML elements into sections okay and so that's what a div tag is and that's what really all these tags are the header the div and also the footer tag okay so so far your your and let's eliminate some space here so far your web page should look something like this and we're basically just building the skeleton if we were to run it again you won't see anything there's really not much going on here yet so far we have three containers we have the header tag or header container we have the div and then we have the footer so now it's time to fill them in so let's start with the header and once again I like three space indentation we create an h1 tag which is a heading tag and you will see what this does the div let's create another one here uh, let's do an h2 tag these are heading tags so we're going to be able to control the size of these uh, of the text that's within the h1 and h2 tags so uh, I'm going to create a hobby let's see um, I don't know watching football okay and let's go to the footer one two three let's do um, okay so for this one <clears throat> I'll do something interesting let's put a paragraph tag and a paragraph tag is also used um, sometimes it's used for well it's used to create space and it's also used as a uh, to create a section so in this case I'll just type my last name here and you type your name there too okay I'll save it let's view it and there's really not much going on I'm gonna click refresh to view it notice I have three lines of text each of them have different sizes as a default your h1 tag will create text with this size uh, your h2 tag will create um, text size uh, as this size and so on and so forth okay so let's uh, add a little bit more uh, let's make it look a little nicer So in order to make it look nicer, we need to create what's called a style sheet. And in this example, we'll be creating an inline style sheet, which is basically embedded in your web page. For uh, other web pages, 
you would create a CSS file, an external CSS file that uh, you call within this file. But just for simplicity purposes, we'll embed it in this web page. So within the head tag, we're going to create three spaces. So after our three space indentation, let's create another tag here. Let's do the style tag. Let's close the style tag. Another three space indentation. And here is where we're going to create our rules for our CSS. So the first rule I'm going to create is um, let's change, let's mess around with uh, the body of the web page and so I type the word body and then I type the uh, squiggly bracket and then the end squiggly bracket and within here I'll do another three spaces and if I want to change then this is the beauty of notepad plus plus and text editors like uh, other text editors like it that it gives you suggestions so here I want to change the background color okay and I mean I can change the background color I don't know let's just put green for simplicity purposes but I'm gonna change this and let's let's just click save so you can see what is going on and as you can see it changed the color now obviously if you don't like this color which I do not and I want to change I am gonna go to Google and let's type HTML color picker and I like going to this site by W3 schools I click on that and here I can choose um, a color that I like and you will choose your own color I will choose uh, I'm gonna choose this color here F so when you change the colors you're gonna type in hashtag FFF3E6 or whichever color you want you're gonna type this entire thing so let's go back to our background color and let's put that hashtag FFF3 E6 and notice how there's a semicolon at the end of uh, you got to have to make sure to do that also um, let's see what else do I want to do let's uh, let's text let's do text align and text align will be left so so far all the so this rule is being applied to everything within the body you know every uh, the header the div and the footer okay it's being applied to these three sections now if we want to specify certain rules for each of these sections we can and we will do that so let's first of all save it let's check our and notice it's a nice nicer lighter color Okay, so let's mess with the code a bit more. Oh, and also notice uh, things got aligned left, which they were already like that. Okay, so let's do, um, let's mess around with the header. So let's mess around with the H1. In case. And let's this time let's choose so <clears throat> for the H1 we're going to change the color which is going to be the text of uh, those letters there 
and let's see what else can I do here let's do the background color also so it's going to change the background notice how there's background color here for the body but there's also background color for H1 so let's see what happens when I do that and I'm just going to choose I kind of know some nice colors so you're going to choose your own different colors than mine and you're going to experiment and find what looks best for your web page so my text align I will align the H1 tag uh, center so what's gonna happen is that everything else everything will be left centered except for my hobbies that will be a color red and it'll be the background color will be color wheat and it'll be centered so let's click save let's go back to the web page refresh and notice how that changed. <clears throat> Let's apply some uh, style rule to watching football. So that will be our H2. And let's type H2, squiggly bracket, whoops. Here we go. And let's just do blue. I can also choose any other colors from the color picker. But just for simplicity purposes, I'll just put blue for now. Save it. So once we save it, let's go back to our web page, refresh, and notice how it changed color blue. So this is going to conclude the first part of the Web A project. Please watch part number two.